everyone, how's it going? So this week we're going to get the insulation for the floors and the ceiling. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use roofing battens on the walls and on the ribs of the ceilings so that we can friction fit the PIR insulation. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So the roofing battens are going to be 140 centimetres long. Um, and they're going to be screwed and glued into these ceiling ribs. I'm going to make them wider than the rib so that they can um, grip onto the PIR as I friction fit them. So these, I've, I've cut them to length, 140 centimetres, and I'm now going to um, put some grooves along the piece of timber at 45 centimeters 95 centimeters so that um, the battens can curve slightly to the shape of the roof and then I'll glue them and screw them and show you when it's done so here's one of the cut lines on the pair of battens and I've adjusted the circular saw so that the teeth won't protrude all the way through the bottom it will just cut a groove to half the depth and then I'll be able to uh, bend this to the curve of the roof. Now I'll make those cuts across the timber. I'm going to use a quick glue and some clamps. Let's get the two pieces together. Because I haven't got 22 clamps. Parcel tape. Uh, I'm going to wrap the two pieces of timber with parcel tape. It's really strong and it will keep the pressure uh, on the two pieces of timber as the glue dries. And I've wrapped all the uh, battens this way uh, whilst, the, whilst the glue goes off. Now take the clamps off and that tape will maintain that pressure of those two pieces of wood um, being pushed together whilst the glue um, dries. So yeah, you can see one groove there, the other groove there, just allows it as I push it up to curve slightly. The roof battens are in. The wall battens are in. It's now time to insulate the van with uh, insulation board or Celatex, which is this stuff. So this will fill all the voids and make sure that the temperature inside the van um, is quite consistent when it's hot outside and you want it to stay cool inside or when it's cold outside and you've got your heater on you want it to stay warm inside. It's a really good insulator. So I'll show you the progress as I start to put it in. So the next gap that I need to fill with insulation is 140 centimetres long by 44 and a half centimetres wide. I've cut this board here to 140 centimetres. I'll now show you how I'm going to get it to 44 and a half uh, before installing it up uh, between the two battens.
Sellotex this way makes it a nice clean cut, which really helps with the friction fitting. Um, because the Sellotex board is rigid and the ceiling is slightly curved, I'm going to make those grooves in the Sellotex board uh, at 45 centimeters and 95 centimeters, um, which will match those on the battens. Um, to do this, I'm just going to put a cut on one side of the board um, and the other side of the board will have the foil uh, still intact so it will remain as one board but will be able to um, sit flush against the battens. I'm now going to push it up against the ceiling. Uh, First bit of Celotex installed in the ceiling, uh, 50 mil, using those roofing battens to friction fit. Um, by using a Stanley blade and metal ruler um, means you can get really clean, accurate cuts. So that's what I recommend. Um, I see some people using a saw, but that's really dusty um, and didn't work for me too well. So yeah, I've just been starting the insulation for the walls. Um, I've used 50 mil Celotex to fill in the panels. And I'm now gonna use the earth wall to just fill in the voids um, and I'll show you that when it's finished. I've insulated the voids with that earth wall soft insulation. As you can see I've um, tried to stuff it into as many of the air gaps as possible just to keep the integrity of the insulation. And what I'm going to do now is use 25mm Celotex boards to friction fit between the battens that you can see and then use foil tape to create another vapour barrier. I've um, added a bit extra battening um, to create the window sill. So I've just finished insulating the driver's side wall. I've um, used the battens to friction fit 25mm Celotex and this will create a vapour barrier similar to the ceiling and it's a really neat way of uh, using really efficient insulation and having the right materials there for your fixings when you're going to panel and clad the walls. <laughs> 